I want to talk about symmetry and even and odd functions. So let me put up the definition of an even function. So the definition is that f of negative x is equal to f of x for all x in the function's domain. Now let me just draw an example of what this would look like. The point is that this function is reflected across the y-axis, so it's just a mirror image of itself from one side of the y-axis to the other. And what the algebraic definition means is that if I were to pick, let's say, a point here, a, and take its equal and opposite point, negative a, what we can see is that we get the exact same y value, regardless of which one we plug it in. So this, is, this says that f of a is actually, just write that a little neater, is equal to f of negative a. So this is one type of symmetry, is even symmetry. Now let me put up the definition of odd symmetry. So the definition of odd symmetry is that the is that for any value x in the domain of the function, f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. And what this looks like, let me show you what this looks like. So hopefully I've drawn this to scale, but what this means is that if I pick, let's say that value a and that value negative a, what we can see is that we get a y value above the x-axis for a, but we get a y value below the x-axis for negative a, or that could be reversed. The point is that we're getting equal and opposite values of uh, values of y when we plug in equal and opposite values of x. So this is this is f of a, and this down here is f of negative a. Write this a little neater. But this, uh, down here, this f of negative a is equal to negative f of a. As so you can see there, the, one is above the x-axis and the other one is an equal amount below the x-axis. Let's use the definition of even and odd functions to determine whether these functions are even, odd, or neither. And yes, neither is an example, and is a, is a possibility, and I'll show you why. So in order to find whether a function is even or odd or neither, we simply evaluate f of, I'll use a different color here, we simply evaluate f of negative x and see whether we get back either f, either f of x or negative f of x. So f of negative x is equal to, we're just going to replace x every place we see it with negative x in parentheses. It's going to be 1 minus negative x squared. So this is equal to, it's going to be negative x times the square root of 1 minus negative x parentheses squared is just the same as x squared. So as we can see, if we look at the original definition of the function, we see the exact same definition with, definition with a negative sign in front of it. So this function is simply equal to negative f of x. We compare those two and we see that this is in fact an odd function. Going over to the right side, let's evaluate whether g of x is even, odd, or neither. Once again, we simply evaluate g of negative x and see what we get. So this is going to be negative x to the fifth over negative x to the third plus negative x. And when we have a negative uh, number and, and raise it to an uh, when we have a negative number and raise it to an odd power, we get a negative number. So this is just going to be equal to negative x to the fifth over negative x to the third plus negative x. Simplify that a bit and get negative x to the fifth over negative x cubed minus x, which is negative x to the fifth over negative x cubed plus x. And we have now two negatives that just cancel each other out and that becomes x to the fifth over x cubed plus x, which we can see is the original function. So that's just equal to g of x. Comparing those, we see that this function is in fact even. Let's try one more. We evaluate once again, evaluate h of negative x to see what we get. This is going to be negative x cubed plus negative x squared minus 5. 
Now, when we take negative x cubed, the parentheses cubed, we just get the negative of x cubed. But when we take negative x squared, we just get x squared itself without the negative sign. And 5, of course, is just 5. So what we can see is that the resulting function is neither equal to h of x nor its opposite. In other words, this expression is not equal to x cubed plus x squared plus 5, and it's also not equal to negative x cubed plus x squared plus 5. So this function is neither. A couple of things you want to know, by the way, are that x to the n is, equal, is even or odd if n is an even integer and odd if n is an odd integer. That's where, in fact, where even and odd functions get their name from. That's, and we can see that in the previous examples that I did. A couple of facts you'll also want to know are that sine x is odd and cosine x is even. That fact uh, appears when you, just from drawing the graphs of sine and cosine.